Uh, I hope they'll accept the will of the democratically elected House. We won again by some 16 votes this afternoon, which was a more comfortable majority than some expected. And of course, there was a great point of principle here, which was that the government has to be able to be free to negotiate. And we have to be able to hold out in our negotiations the prospect of no deal. Otherwise, all the advantage would have been with the EU side in the negotiations. And I think that we've made the will of the House clear now. Of course, we can't preempt what the House of Lords will do next, but they will have heard the signal loud and clear. But you talk about holding out. I mean, it does appear for the second week in a row, Theresa May has tried to hold out until the last minute and then had no choice but to budge. Well, I think it's, I think it's clear that there were some procedural changes today, but there was no change in the fundamental issue here, which is the government cannot be forced by Parliament to negotiate something that the government doesn't want to do. And that's, that's the key as we move forward. Hopefully now, this takes the whole Brexit debate into a new place. It's now the focus is not on the legislation, uh, which of course was designed to give us a smooth transition uh, as we leave the EU, but now onto the future economic partnership itself.